Name Daet was derived from the Bikol word Daet Daetan, which means close to each other. Daet also originated from ancient Bikol term Daet, which according to the first Bikol Spanish dictionary, Vocabulario de Lengua Bikol, authored by Fray Marcos de Lisboa, would mean to make friend or to be reconciled. The municipality is a popular surfing spot among surfers worldwide. It is also home to the annual Daet International Aerosports Show, first held in 2013. The town holds the distinction of constructing the first and thereby oldest monument of Rizal, the country's national hero. Daet is also known for its sweetest pineapple, among other varieties of pineapple. The name Daet was derived from the Bikol word Daet Daetan, which means close to each other. Over the years, after having done many activities and exhibits in museum, it was observed that the space of the said museum inside the Capitol building was very much wanting as shown by cramp arrangement of materials, and so it was deemed necessary that the museum be transferred to a bigger space. Subsequently, the museum was transferred upon the advent of the new millennium in the year 2000 to a building juxtaposed to the provincial capital building so as to accommodate more materials and more viewers of the exhibits. Over the years, after having done many activities and exhibits in museum, it was observed that the space of the said museum inside the capital building was very much wanting. The first ever beach that was constructed in the town of Daet during the American period in 1930s. Many people are mistaken on the sculpture on the middle of the bridge. They say it was the Lady of Liberty, but history revealed the truth about it. The lady on the sculpture is Maria Makilin, and behind her is the Mount Mayon. Its image was also featured on the Primival coins of the Republic of the Philippines, though Maria Makilin represents the region 4. Still, it's part of the Daet history. The first ever beach that was constructed in the town of Daet during the American period in 1930s. Many people are mistaken on the sculpture on the, the middle of the bridge. Historical they say it was the Lady of Liberty, but history is And memorabilia of prominent personalities from the town, built in hardwood during the American era, the building used to be the former presidential or municipal hall and the police station of Daet. It is also being envisioned to house the Fernando Amorsolo National Museum, which will house the artifacts, historical documents, artistic and literacy products of the Itanias, and memorabilia of prominent personalities from the town. Built in hardwood during the American era, the building used to be the former Mesa, presidential the and first municipal ever hall and that the was built in honor of Buser. Right there at the street corner, this becomes a little more literal because just a few steps away is a memorial for the massacred Catiponeros of the four-day diet revolts against the Spaniards. On April 14, 1898, Members of the Katipunan from Camarines Norte staged an uprising against Spanish authorities who have fortified themselves in the house of Juan Florencio Arana, a Spaniard and longtime resident of Daed. The Rufino Publico and Social House is a two-story house, Spanish-type bahay na bato, which was typical among Illustrados families. It has gone floor made of hardwood and has intricately designed carving that can be seen to the furniture inside. The known as Daet Airport is an airport serving the general area of the town of Daet, located in the province of Camarines Norte in the Philippines. It is the only airport in Camarines Norte. The airport is classified as a secondary airport or a minor commercial domestic airport by the Transportation Office, a body of the Department of Transportation. Gasbas Beach, a surfing favorite in Bicol region, those traveling on the boulevard will also get the sights of Bye Bye Beach in Mercedes, San Jose Beach in Talisay, and Sabang Beach in Vincennes. 
The boulevard was built under the Tourism Road Infrastructure Program of the Department of Tourism and the Department of Public Works and Highways. The government spent 915 million for the project. Roderick's the University of Camarines Norte through Republic Act Number no. 11399. The University of Camarines Norte, formerly known as Camarines Norte State College, is a public college in the Philippines. It is mandated. The first church was dedicated to the glorious precursor St. John the Baptist, whose feast day is on June 24. Included in its jurisdiction were the Visitas of Bactas and of Talisay was founded in 1654. The parish of St. John the Baptist presently covers 12 of the 25 barangays of the town. The rectory was constructed... Holy Trinity is a prominent Latin Rite Roman Catholic cathedral located in Diet Camarines, North of Philippines. It was erected in 1984 after the Diocese of Diet was created by a papal bull in May 27, 1974. As of 2013, the rector is the Most Reverend Gilbert Armea Garcera. The construction of the parish church took a long time of preparation. It started long before Camarines Norte became a diocese. During the incumbency of Messenger Antonino Oreganet as parish price of Daet, the cathedral compound was acquired from the Magana family. Construction of a complex building was started, the center of which was the proposed main altar. Reganet died before completion. Lola Andeng, ang sirenang ito o mano ay totoong mahiwaga. Mahiwaga na hindi lingid sa kaalaman ng iba. Ayon pa rito, sa kabila ng kagandahang tinataglay nito, ay ang hindi maitagong kagabalit. Sa pagkagat ng dilim, dumarami ang mga motoristang naaaksidente at madalas ay namamatay sa tuwing daraan dito dahil sa mapangakit na kagandahan ng mahiwagang sirena. Bagamat sinasabi ng pulisya na aksidente ang gawa ng kalasingan lamang ito, ay hindi pa rin maipagkakaila sa dami ng taong naniniwala at nagsasabing kagagawan ito ng mahiwagang sirena. Noon pa man raw, ay may sirena na na di umano'y nagpapakita sa mga mangyisda sa tuwing sila ay nasa laot. Ang mga ganitong insidente raw ay hindi na bago sa pandinig ni Lola Anding pagkat ito ay paulit-ulit na lamang daw na nangyayari. Isa pa, ito rin umano ang kwentong inlahad ng maswerteng nakaligtas sa isang aksidenteng naganap noong dalawang libot lalo. Hindi man namin nakuhanan ng pahayag ang mismong taong nakaligtas sa aksidente ay maswerte pa rin kami sapagkat ibinahagi sa amin ng ilang taong nakasaksi ang pahayag ng nakaligtas na iyo. Ayon kay Tatay Manding, 78 taong gulang, isang saksi sa kabilado ng kanyang katandaan ay malinaw pa rin sa kanya ang kwento ng taong nakaligtas sa aksidente. Sakay umano na isang motorsiklo ay tinatahak nila ang kahabaan ng daan pa uwi. Maayos pa naman daw ang lahat at nagagawa pa nila magbiruan sa daan habang nasa biyahe. Hanggang sa napadako ang tingin nila sa isang estatwa ng sirena, bagamat masasabing sila ay lasing, hindi pa rin umano matadaya ang mga mata nito. Ay sa mga pangyayaring ito, pinaaalalahanan tayo na mag at iwasang sumulyap sa sirena tuwing gabi upang maiwasan ang kababalaghan at aksidente. Daet Camarines Norte may be known for a lot of things. The local produce of pili and pineapple, the kiteboarding and surfing haven of Bagasbash Beach, the ancestral house, and the old churches. We must never forget, however, the historic markers of the Oragon's bravery.